You've been talking about, yes, I know Janet Sapala. I remember her very well from her time here on Fox. Well, now she's written her first children's book. And so many people are glad that she's back in town, back oh. in Philly, for a special <laughs> signing this weekend at a special place, the Elmwood Park Zoo. That's right. I'm really looking forward to it. Hi, Janet. Good to see you guys. Well, oh Mikey. Mikey, how you been, buddy? <laughs> I've been good. They had good the biggest hug in the commercial oh, break. It was great I to really see. missed you, and you guys are doing a great job. Thank really you. nice Thank to you. see you all. Yeah. Um, you anchored early morning, but didn't you do the 10 for a while too? Here, uh, for a I was reporting on the 10. Yeah. And then I, they needed someone to fill in for good day, and I loved it. And they said, Well, come on board. I said, Why not? So <laughs> there I was. And Jen and to I your will always dismay. Have, you what? <laughs> to your dismay. <laughs> well, exactly. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we, now we goose people. I they, noticed they, that. Uh, <laughs> I have to come back here more often. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jan and I will always be connected because of the yes. morning of 9-11. Danya mm -hmm. Archer, who was the uh, anchor mm -hmm. uh, in the morning, yes. was off on a vacation in Italy. Yes, she was. And, and couldn't get back. So you were wow. on with me that, that morning. Mm -hmm. That this, was a day we'll never forget. That's for time sure. we'll never forget. It's exactly what we said to each other. Yeah. We will never be the same. No. Um, no one is, I don't think. No. You know, it's Somehow we kind of got back to a somewhat normal life here. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. To some uh, extent, yes. Where New York so resilient. Uh, back in L.A., where I'm from originally, you know, Philly's my second home. I'll always love it here. My son was raised here. He's still a huge Phillies fan. You know, lives in Miami, still rooting for the Eagles, you know, mm -hmm. still rooting for the Phillies, still rooting for the Sixers. But, um, yeah, I'm in L.A. and uh, loving it there as well. I and try to get the back here, I think that's the first time I too. ever met you. Were you on Fox 11? Yes. Back then? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> you look fantastic. Well, she always you. does. I know. Yes, she oh, does. Are you I sure you don't need glasses? You're oh, no, I was asking better. about skincare. I'm like, I need whatever skincare yeah. you're doing. I need it glowing. Thank you. Let's talk about this book because it looks so amazing and so cute. And um, how did you get into writing it? What inspired you? Good question. I actually am a, a volunteer at a rescue in the uh, Palm Springs area. I was mucking stalls one day, <laughs> and it was brought to my attention that uh, Wapo was spooning with a pig that was there at the rescue named Mabel. Oh. She's a pot pig, right? I said, really? And then she starts to tell me, the director of the rescue starts telling me that Wapo was an orphan. He was then eventually adopted by a woman there in the Coachella Valley, and that he got so big that now he's outgrown his his digs. Normally, a steer gets to be about a thousand to well, maybe 12, 1500 right. pounds. He's 3000 pounds oh and well over six feet tall. And I have to say, he's probably one of the world's largest steer with one of the world's largest hearts. And he also has, as God had, <laughs> did it, uh, he's got a heart on his forehead. Right on the forehead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God said, you know what, I've got to make you really special. And he is, he's so kind, he's special, he's sweet, yeah. he's loving. And where, you could, where are you doing the book signing? Uh, tomorrow at the Elmwood Park Zoo in Norristown. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll be there for a couple of hours starting at noon tomorrow. But the thing I love about the show, the uh, book real quickly, is it's got all these great life messages about friendship, kindness, acceptance, love, and diversity. Because a lot of the animals, when he was transferred to, there's my, my son, by the way, in case you were wondering wow. what I'm doing, I kind of hang out with him there on his boat. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's really important, I think, to instill those life messages yeah. into our children about accepting others we have to mm -hmm. celebrate our differences yeah. and i think if you watch animals and really study them you can learn a lot and that's what you learn from this book is by watching how wapo responds because even though wapo's big as you were mentioning yes wapo's small friends friends of all kinds and so it's yeah. really great and yeah. the pictures in the back when you get this book make sure you look in the back <laughs> the the so back. you can see wapo's real and all the characters in the book that you fall in love with mm -hmm. yes. they are there and there's real They're pictures real. of them and you that's them right well. and you do fall in love with them and he's just as big as he is that's as kind as he is. Mm -hmm. He's just a sweetheart. Meet Janet. Go over there tomorrow. Yes, and where can people please. get the book? And they can get it with me tomorrow, mm -hmm. also at mascotbooks.com and Amazon. Amazon. And oh several God. Barnes and Nobles bookstores. You're still doing the cooking Stuff thing? like that. Yeah, cooking, okay. health and wellness. Yep. All about health and wellness, right? Mm -hmm. Just yeah. trying to help people that way, too. <laughs> can you help him then? Or? I really do need what? help. Which, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> I, you know, I've known him long enough. enough. She tried you know, 15 long years long ago. It didn't work? It didn't work. Okay. Janet. Fantastic Thank to see you. you. Wow. Oh my Great to Enjoy see you, Enjoy your everybody. time back here. I will. Thanks so much.